We're all increasingly aware, I think, that climate change poses a range of threats to human health. Increasing heat, extreme heat, floods, droughts, more infectious disease episodes, effects on food and nutrition. But what's not so generally appreciated is that cutting the greenhouse gases that are causing climate change is also a major opportunity for health. Through policies in the energy, food, built environment, the healthcare sectors, we can reduce greenhouse gas emissions but also improve human health over years, not decades. So there are a number of approaches that we could take to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve health. One is to continue the decarbonisation of our energy system. We've already, of course, reduced the fossil fuel intensity of our energy system. Coal is largely phased out, but we still need to phase out uh, gas and move towards more renewable energy. Secondly, in our housing sector, we have many drafty and inefficient homes that need to be retrofitted to meet the needs of the 21st century. So these homes uh, could be made warmer, much more energy efficient, and this would benefit health and also reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Thirdly, our transport systems are often uh, polluting. They often encourage physical inactivity, and in many cases they have adverse effects on health. So incentivizing walking, cycling, the use of public transport. So if the population of England and Wales started to walk and cycle, like the population of Copenhagen, then that would result in major benefits in terms of reduced diabetes, heart disease, some types of cancer, as a result of increasing physical activity. And that could result in costs averted to the NHS of £17 billion over a period of 20 years. So why should we comment on policies in transport or energy or, or, or food if we're coming from a health perspective? And the reason for that is that these sectors are really important determinants of health. They, they actually shape the environment in which we live and they can help us to move in a more healthy direction or a less healthy direction, depending on the policies. So that's why we need to take a broader perspective, bringing in a range of different sectors and a range of different disciplines to understand how these complex issues interact together and how we can develop policies which are good for climate and good for health.